Hey everyone, in today's video we're taking a look at the construction progress of the Eglinton Crosstown project in Midtown Toronto. The Eglinton Crosstown will unfortunately not be opening this year as stations are still unfinished and issues with completed structures have meant some things need major repairs. According to Metrolinx, the consortium building the project has not provided a credible timeline for the commissioning of the project either. Before we get into the video, I want to apologize for the inconsistent uploads recently. As with exams, extracurriculars, and some personal issues, it's been really hard for me to find time to make videos lately, but as we get into the summer, I'll be posting much more. Starting at the western terminus of the project, Mount Dana Station is largely complete and has been for quite some time. The main entrance building near Weston Road is mostly complete, and landscaping is wrapping up outside of the building. Digital information displays, wayfinding, and the final bits of glass paneling are being installed on the platforms at the new regional rail station, which is starting to look almost complete. East of the regional rail tracks, the platforms for Line 5 Eglinton look mostly finished. Amenities such as ben benches and emergency intercoms are also visible. On one of the days that I was filming, next train displays were turned on and showed 4-minute frequencies. These likely aren't the final operating plans, but trains every four minutes would be pretty good for a Saturday. The wayfinding signs, while unfortunately inconsistent with the TTC, are pretty good. The north sidewalk on Eglinton was recently reopened now that landscaping and fencing is complete. The sidewalk and bike path from Weston to Black Creek Drive was reopened a few weeks ago, and the sidewalk from Black Creek Drive to east of the tunnel portal was opened more recently. Underneath the guideway, a picture of what the area looked like before construction started was printed onto one of the concrete walls, which helps make the guideway a bit nicer. Landscaping behind the tunnel portal is also wrapping up. Keelsdale has been largely complete for a long time now, but final additions to the bus terminal, such as arrival displays at bus bays, have been added. Caledonia Station is close to wrapping up major work, but still has a little bit to go. More arrival screens at the bus terminal have been installed, and route signs above the platforms have been installed as well. At Fairbank, the plaza outside of the main entrance building is looking close to being complete with trees planted, although there is still too much concrete in my opinion. The main entrance looks close to being completed. The secondary entrance is amenities now, but also seems to be housing some pigeons, which isn't great. At Oakwood Station, Presto gates, similar to those seen on the Ottawa O train, have been installed. These gates are slightly better at handling subway level ridership compared to the current gates that Toronto uses. Just like the upgraded gates in Toronto, these will be equipped with new Presto readers that accept phones, credit cards, and debit cards. Presto ticket machines are also installed at Oakwood but haven't been unboxed. The station buildings themselves look mostly complete from street level and I suspect are largely complete beneath the street as well. Some digital displays at stations have been switched from saying not in service to LRV testing underway, which is an interesting change. Currently Eglinton West, Cedar Rail Station is wrapping up at its main entrance and restoring the road outside of the station. Outside of the existing bus terminal, two skylights have been added and repaving around the station is wrapping up. The other two new entrance buildings are mostly complete and road repaving and painting is finished. Presto gates and machines have been installed at Forest Hill Station's secondary entrance, and work is almost complete at the main entrance building as well. The intersection had just been repaved the weekend I was filming, and road markings were being painted as I walked by. Chaplin Station's many entrances are all mostly complete. The third entrance, next to the Key Gardener Trail, is pretty minimal, but looks to be mostly finished, and a staircase leading to the trail has been installed next to the entrance. An entrance leading directly into the trail would have been nice, but it's possible it's not there for flood protection reasons. The main entrance is mostly finished. The parquet surrounding the main building has been completed and looks very nice. The second glass structure on this site has also been completed and appears to be a bike locker. The second entrance doesn't have much going on, but looks clean and mostly complete. At Avenue Station, the main entrance is mainly completed, and some finishing touches are being installed inside. The secondary entrance is also mostly complete at street level now, and the road on Eglinton from Avenue to Duplex is mostly re repaved with raised bike lanes and trees, 
but unfortunately bike lanes on parts of Eglinton seem to be delayed for more public consultation. At Young and Eglinton, the road is almost filled in, but there are still a few holes in the road and lots of fences. The new station building is also fully paneled off, but there's definitely still work that is needed. Compared to other stations, Eglinton seems to be being built very quickly to hopefully complete the project sooner. The Line 1 subway platform at Eglinton Station was shifted a few meters north recently to improve the future connection with Line 5. Fencing has been installed on the south side of the platform to ensure riders wait in the correct spot for their train. At Mount Pleasant, the road has been fully repaved and bike lanes have been completed. The intersection wasn't repainted when I was there, but I'm sure it's happened since then. The station entrances are also close to being finished, and I personally love the style of the main entrance. The station entrances at Lee side are mostly completed, with glass paneling and other tiling works complete. The railings and glass barriers along the staircases are also completed. Work at Laird Station is mainly focusing on landscaping and adding finishings inside the station. Sunnybrook Park, like the rest of the surface section, has been practically complete for a long time now. Just like Mount Dennis Station, the next train display signs were turned on. The new ramp leading into Sunnybrook Park from Leslie and Eglinton on the north side is close to being complete now, with paving finished. Science Center's main entrance building is completed, and the bus terminal on the northeast side is also largely complete. Traffic lights on Don Mills and Gervais Drive leading in and out of the bus terminal have been installed, but not activated. Stations on the surface section of the line have been complete for a long time now, but some more recent additions are the continued installation of Presto machines and flex posts where trains will be coupled together. Sloan Station was found to have an uneven layer of concrete on the platform, which meant the platform had to be ripped up and a new layer of concrete had to be poured. Line 5's main entrance at Kennedy Station is mostly complete, and the GO Transit station building and platforms are nearing completion. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that Line 5 will be opening this year, but with the majority of work largely complete at street level, hopefully we can ride the line next year. <laughs>